Conforto, the former Met in right field on the left by the Rays back in 2014. He was a second rounder. Rays Don Rosillo. Donnie. Thanks very much, Mudley. Here we go. Spring training baseball, Cactus League action. Swing and a miss. Has him down 0 2. Really good chase. Self, leg kick, and then drive home. Not going to light up the radar gun. A lot more innings to be had here if you are. Swing and a miss, and Wade Jr. strikes out. And the center fielder, Grisham, overdue, but uh, for the most part, it's been going out to left. And it is uh, shifted around on us today. I think so. Right? You know, they made some additions. I think they're a better team. 2-2. Two -two. He's in the dirt. A full count. Hey. Michael Conforto. There it's in the right center. And Sable has a one out. In your ball games, it's gonna it's gonna be one of those situations where yeah, if you score some runs, if you Yeah, how did that happen? A lot Everything. of things went right, yes. I can tell you that. Yeah. Coming to the Giants this year and straightened up with a pitch up and in and Honeywell kind of league deal with the Padres this year. 27 years of age from Cochran. Is back. That ball is gone. Into the berm. Porto. Former Met fouls one off to the left out of play. Anywhere. Yeah, he's one of those players that can bust out, right? Absolutely. That's a big years without to be his last year in the Mets organization and now has found a new home with the Giants. So there's, uh, there's room to make up that production. And check see if he went out of Oregon State. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out. Honeywell. You know, that's something we. There have been a lot of the veteran pitchers take over that role, knowing what they want to do. Swing and a miss, and he strikes on the mound today for the Giants. Pitched 158 frames. Well, when he's filling the strike zone, John Manaya. Yep, signed as a free agent last year. A ball, two hops out to Diaz, who throws him. Doing the catching and batting in the two spot for the Padres. Yeah. What led to it? Yeah, the pitches just didn't seem to have their stuff and the action, uh, the location. And it makes some good. Good strikes to uh, keep the hitters off balance, off speed stuff behind. Right, Conforto going back, and he makes the catch this year. Bit of a knee contusion kept him out of the lineup. Who defensively playing in right field, so apparently took PP and mm -hmm. felt better today. So why not? We're back in with Mark Sweeney, it was a. Hey, that's called a teaser. We'll talk about we'll it talk. next. World Baseball Classic with his calf strain. But Bob announced today that not only is he feeling better, but he's completely uncompusano. You haven't seen him in the lineup the last couple of days. He's had a tight hamstring, but the expectation is that he'll... Moment yesterday, though, for the Padre with Adrian Morejon leaving the ball game. Pain day, it's possible. Simulated game on Thursday. If that goes well, we might see him in games. There's still hope that he'll have some additional problems. And at this point, surgery not planned. We'll wait and see, but it could be the end of the career for Craig Stammen. And uh, boy, he logged a lot of crucial innings over the years for the Padres if it is indeed over. He might, he's going to hang him up. He has had a really, really good career. Yeah. And it's the old two for one, which is not a good thing. Um, Joe Musgrove, you know, we always talk about pitchers. Like you said, overcome. There was one second left. Long way away from Nola, but he doesn't panic. And throws up. Grounder to Cronenworth. Slides to his left. And a nice one, two. Was there a problem? Let me see that copy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you have a question? <laughs> no. I, 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 I have the copy. I get four first. Place. Okay, gotcha. Probably should be a comma or something in there. <laughs> There was just a little bit of pause. It was like you were yes. kind of uncertain. I was because gotcha. I'll bet you. I'll throw a comma in there. A comma or period. No, you'd want a comma because two two. Strike three call. Groundward didn't like it. We'll take strike one. White Sox. 
And our first look at him on a TV game yeah. so far this year. The White Sox, to me, it was just always that thing to yes. have. Um, you want to be the best. Yeah. A little bit. 280 on base for his career. Sound for the White Sox. Yeah. Do as off the hill, Manaya slings it to first. Matt Carpenter. Roger of Texas. Remember him? I do. In New York with the Yankees. Names from years past, Hard Frogs, Jake Airy. That is ball four. Let's get a quick word from Kia. He gets up there. Three levels. A ball, double A, triple A. Foul back and just to our left. To catch it. To second base goes. Who's representing the Padres at the WBC. It has given him a long hold. The outfield going the other way. Now this one. Will... Base Carpenter will score. And the Padres tie it up two to two. Coming off the bench, and I really need to have a deep bench. Topic two, game open. It's just pointed out we actually don't have a pregame well, you know, show. Pregame show, I think Mike Palmer he would be here and do a hit. <laughs> One, two is up and away. Down and in. Check on first, and back to the bag is Lopes. Fouled off to the right out of play. So that time there. I am missing down and in and a full count now. Fordo makes his way in and makes the five to end the sack. Austin wins, leads it. Grisham going back, looking up, and that ball. He literally cued the. Rattled foul, we'll do it again, one and two. Hey, we've neglected to talk about also, remember the... You get the Dodgers in your division. You're watching what the Padres have done. Welsy. Welsy. Well, his top foul. Ever yeah. called him El Gallo before well, you started calling him El Gallo. Remember <laughs> that too. <laughs> Short right. Table back there with room to make the catch. Conforto is right there in the wild number two. Top foul.